darkened moon. Welcome back everyone. We have Fantasy Girl back in action here in Ishgard. And so today we're going to be continuing on with the next part of Charles Men's Custom Deliveries. So if you remember last time, the quest really wasn't all that exciting. I think we got it done in about 10 minutes. Didn't really have much to show for it. I am hoping that we'll have a little bit more excitement in this one. Good evening to you, Claire. As you will recall, rehabilitation aids such as walking sticks and wheelchairs are the order of the day. So we already went ahead and made three of them. Safety is paramount when it comes to rehabilitation and any equipment used must be sturdy and durable. Having come from your hands, I expect this will be more than satisfactory. It would be remiss of me not to perform an inspection, if you'll excuse me. By the fury, even to my layman's eyes, to plain the quality is transcendent. I cannot show this to Melee soon enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn in the other three. Sorry, the other two. And I'm actually kind of surprised that they actually have wheelchairs in this particular world. Did not expect that, but I kind of like the idea. Okay, so let me turn them all in. Now we have enough equipment for our patient's rehabilitation. Next, we must learn how to assist them through the process. Have you heard, Claire? Marielle's going to teach us how to help our patients, with the rehabilitation, that is. What's wrong? You have a stomachache or something? No, no, nothing of the sort. It's just, I can't help but worry whether I will be able to assist our patients appropriately. What if they do not approve? Or worse yet, end up suffering more pain? You could try and imagine you're hurting in the same places. That way you know how they feel and can help them better. Wow, does that really work? Besides, we'll be there too. Me and Claire. So don't worry. Everything will be fine. Yes, yes, you have the right of it. I shall do as you say and imagine their pain as my own. Come, let us have Marlette instruct us at once. Oh, well, that was fast, but I do think that we'll be going on to a much faster pace. At least I hope so. This is the third quest, and there's only supposed to be four. Okay, we are now AIDS Ardent Ally. And yet, there's still much work to be done if he is to atone for past negligence and provide a shining example for the future Vishgard. To that end, he has a new favor to ask of you. Oh, a new quest! Okay, good! Hey, a new quest continuing the story of Charlman's efforts at Sir Vanderoy's Grace is now available for Marmorlet. Upon its completion, the custom deliveries list for Charlman will be updated. Okay, good to know! Okay, those who serve wish to teach Charlman and Mei Lai the particulars of patient rehabilitation. If you are ready, I shall explain how to assist our patients in their rehabilitation. I'm ready, Marlet. There you are, Uncle. Oh, okay. Did not expect that. Oh, he's kind of cute. Never mind. R Rowan what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you back to your senses. Since returning from abroad, you have turned your back on your highborn peers, choosing instead to consort with lowborn rabble. Oh, it's one of those types. If that weren't unseemly enough, it transpires that you are working at an infirmary used by commoners. Your actions threaten to erode the standing that we nobles have had for generations. You've taught me everything I know, Uncle. You've taught me to follow in your footsteps, and I wanted not more than to do you proud. But now I scarcely recognize you. Whatever has happened to the man I so respected, wherever he has gone, I want him back. What a brat. Um... 
My apologies for the commotion. Please continue. Respect, dude. Respect. Are you sure, Chalmond? Should you not attend to your nephew first? Nay, this is a family matter, and I will not have it disrupt our work. I shall have more words with my nephew afterwards. But he looks so sad and lonely. I'm going after him. Come with me, Claire. It's okay, we'll deal with it. Okay, quest accepted. Oh boy. Dealing with one of those types, huh? It is a starkly different world in which the nobles live. One which brings its own unique challenges. I apologize for my nephew's outburst. He's a good lad, truly. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to go and answer the door real quick, so I had to put it on pause. So we just skipped right back to where he left off. And we're looking around for his nephew. So he's around here somewhere. And, I mean, if he's anything like his uncle, he probably really isn't such a bad guy. He just needs to open his eyes to, like, the bigger world, I suppose you could call it that. Because I really like Charlman now. I really do. I wasn't too fond of him at first, but you know what? He really grew on me. Alright, we found him. Oh, man. There he is, Claire. Rowan Ten. Hm. <laughs> That's Lord Rowan Ten to you. Oh, <laughs> yourself. Don't you know there's no more of Highborn and Lowborn? We're all just as guardians now. Your uncle himself said so. But never mind that now. You have to make up with him, you know? Your uncle. You do like him, don't you? Uh, that's none of your business. But... You have the right of it. Since my father died in the war, my uncle has treated me as his own son. There's no one I admire more, but of late I struggle to understand him. It might be as you don't understand him, but your uncle's a good man, and you have to cherish the family you've got. So come on, let's go back to the infirmary. Bah, fine. I'll return, but do not think for a moment that this is because you said so. Sure. Sure it doesn't. Ah, uh, kids, what can you do with them? Thankfully, the only kids I have are fluffy and they have four legs. Still not saying anything, is he? Family should get along, isn't that right? Well, you think they would, but that's not always the case, sweetie. Forgive me, Claire, Marcelli. It was not my wish to embroil you in family affairs. Not only do you keep the company of commoners, you would even bow to them? We are of noble blood of the Knights Twelve! Surely you have not forgotten this! Listen well, my dear boy. While it is important to uphold tradition and honor our ancestors, I have come to see that it is wrong to look down upon others simply on account of their birth. Besides, as you too should know, it has since been revealed that all Ishgardians are descended from the Knights Twelve. This makes us all equal according to our very own traditions. After centuries upon centuries of the privileged standing we nobles have enjoyed, it is no easy thing to accept change. But the age where one's birth determines one's worth has ended, and change will come whether we will it or no. Here on, tis our deeds that shall speak for us. That shall dictate our place in the world. Use an allergy. When you were exhausted after combat training, what is it that you desire? That would be rest, I suppose. And perhaps some sweets with tea. 
In like manner, at the end of a thousand-year war, the people of Ishgard yearn for the sweetness of stability. But stability will not manifest of its own accord. Nay, hard work is necessary to bring it about. So I ask you, in such an age as this, who would you respect more? A man who sits idly by, waiting for the sweets to appear at his table? Or a man who busies himself in an effort to see everyone served? I... I would respect the latter. The man who would see everyone served. As you should, my boy. And I know none who serves more diligently than young Melai here who places the needs of the patients above all else. Learning from her fine example, I too am striving to be a man who serves others. In this way do I hope to set my own example for you, my heir. You're doing this for me? This came to me in the course of my analogy, but I understand that the rehabilitation process can be trying upon body and mind both. Might we not likewise treat our patients to sweets and tea? I believe it would serve to lift their spirits as they work towards recovery. Oh, what a great idea! We had high tea once at the orphanage and it was really fun! Hmm, a high tea shouldn't tax the patients. Very well, let's do it. Claire, as before, we would be grateful if you could provide us with the items we require. Right, we're the hero of Ishgard. You think that he would realize that even the hero of Ishgard is helping out here. You ought to give us a hand too, Rowan Ten. Yeah, really, it would do you some good. Um, Mari, let's. Rowan Ten doesn't work here, but it's alright if he helps, right? Just this once, I believe an exception can be made. Well, that's sweet. Okay, so that's taken care of. Yeah, I think that prissy little boy should really see some hard work for a change. Let him see how good he has it. So, high tea essentials. Tea is good and high tea is better. With this assortment of items, the infirmary will be... Able to host an event the patients will remember. And we already grabbed some pieces as well. So I'm just going to be doing this real quick. Ironic that we were already culinarian. <laughs> Made it perfect. Well, was not paying attention. Sorry about that. Okay, let's try that again. And you know what, let's just skip ahead. I think we've all seen this enough times to know how it works. Okay, so that's three all together. Claire, we are currently preparing to host a high tea for our patients. Your assistance in the way of supplies would be appreciated. We got one here. In a snow-swept nation such as ours, nobles and commoners alike are partial to the steaming cup of tea served with sweets. These items will allow us to host an event that our patients will enjoy. Now if I may take a closer look... Hmm, yes, very fine stuff indeed. This will be a high tea to remember, mark my words. Okay, I just realized something. Where are those two? Are they already serving tea? Oh, there they are. That was fast. It's usually Charlman who teaches me things, but sometimes our patients teach me as well. It's a lot of fun learning from everyone. My uncle is right. It is better to be a man who serves others. I shall learn to be one too. Well, that was fast. I was expecting a little bit more drama than that. Oh well. Claire, we currently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. We got the rest of your tea for your little party. Ooh, another cutscene already? I love that idea. Thanks so much for always helping us, Claire. 
With your kind assistance, we are entrusting the task of ever. With your kind assistance, we are being entrusted with tasks of ever greater importance. We hope you can continue to depend on you. Aww. That's a shame. It's over already. Oh well, I guess that's going to be it for now. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. I think that we'll be continuing very, very soon. It looks like everything is really starting to shape up. And I think there should be one more quest. We have one more little... I think we have one more little cutscene and quest to take care of. It's always been four quests here, at least for the four weeks. Anyway, that's it for right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you'll be looking forward to next time. Bye!